Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Lectures in Lab Coats. My name is Sparks, and I will be your lovely lab-coated lecturing Let's Player for today. Now, as a map maker, and today's invention is specifically targeting uh, creative redstoners and map makers, uh, as a map maker I'm always trying to find a design that is small and lag-free. Um, and I think I found one for a T flip-flop. Um, I, I hope people can find this useful, but basically I have two versions, a 1.8 version and a 1.7 version. Um, the only difference between the two is that the 1.7 version is directional, you have to enter a slightly different piece of code depending on which way it's pointing. Um, so that's the only real difference between them, you can use either one, but just because this one works in any direction, um, I, would, I would potentially go for the 1.8 one if you're in 1.8. Um, so, let me explain how this works. Um, this is the 1.8 version uses the new block data tag um, and it tries to replace the command block's own success count tag with one. Success count is an output that a command block has which tells it how much signal strength to run through a comparator. So, if it succeeds in running a command, it sets it to one. Or if it uh, is detecting players, it sets the signal strength to the number of players it detects. Um, now, what happens here is it tries to set its success count to 1. It's currently at 0, so it sets its success count to 1, which causes the comparator to turn on. Um, it now has a su success count of 1. If I try and run that command again, its success count is already 1. So it can't change its success ta tag, which means that the block did command failed, and as a result it sets its success count tag back to 0, turning the comparator off. So it's Basically, it's a very, very small T flip flop, and you can you can power this in any way you like. I'm using a button right now, um, but yeah, that's really handy because comparators don't give off any particles; they don't cause light updates. Um, so, whichever state this is in, this causes absolutely no lag. Only the tiny little bit of lag when when it's when it's powered, of course. Um, the 1.7 version is very similar. What it does is it uses the test for block command. Um, this number here and this number here changes depending on the direction. Um, I have the the um, four different directions in the video description um, and it basically just depends on the direction. What this does is it tests for an unpowered comparator in this spot. So right now there is an unpowered comparator in this spot. If I press it finds one, and because it successfully found one, it gives a success count of one and turns the comparator on. Now next time it tries to find a um, an unpowered comparator there, it only finds a powered one. So it fails and sets its success count to zero, updating the comparator and turning the signal off. Um, works really nicely, um, and I, I the only slight flaw with this is that it gives out a power strength of one. So it's quite a weak output. Um, that's the only main flaw with this. You can, of course, um, extend that very easily using a, a repeater. It doesn't damage the design in any way, uh, or a torch if you wanted to uh, extend it that way. But um, bear in mind that, as I said, um, torches give off particles and they cause light updates when they when they change. So, um, you know, you can extend the signal, but uh, if possible, I'd, I'd uh, recommend connecting it to connecting it directly to any redstone that you are using. Um, so, I mean, considering the different things that we're trying to avoid here, it's really doing a good job. I mean, light updates and particles from torches are both cause lag, particles um, from redstone dust, and also any updates in redstone dust signal strength. Uh, the algorithm that updates redstone dust is very inefficient. We've got light updates and particles from repeaters and moving blocks which a lot of T flip-flops have. Now we can see three of those things right here. Actually all four I think. We've got light updates, particles, um, redstone updates and moving blocks. So I mean there are uh, other versions of T flip-flops but I think most of them contain at least one of these things. So um, it's a fairly neat design. Um, I hope that people can find this useful. I certainly will be using this a lot, I think. Uh, it's just really handy, and I think it's just about as small as you can get a T flip flop design, I think. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I will see you all 
Next time, feel free to leave comments in the description. Um, and as I said, the commands for all of these uh, command blocks are in the video description. You can also download this world from the video description if you want to play around with this yourself. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.